Hello everybody, so today I'm hanging out with Jeffrey from Novotel and Mercure Singapore on Stevens. Hi Jeffrey, how are you doing? Hi, you can. I'm doing good. Yay! Okay, so I'm very excited today because um, we have got a lot of uh, exciting bottles in front of us, which means we're going to be making some cocktails, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, but before we get into that, I wanted to ask you, so what is it you actually do at the hotel? I'm actually uh, taking care of our banquet department and uh, Novotel in Singapore, Steven. Oh, okay, okay, but you are teaching me how to make a cocktail, so are you also a bartender? I actually not a bartender by uh, profession, but I actually uh, took up a module back in my Shatak day. Oh, okay, okay. But so how come you went from a banquet to, to learn bartending again? It's actually a new course, uh, Job Redesign that uh, okay. allow us to cross train to a different department. That's really good. I think like, you know, in a, in a challenging time, you know, such as this, it's very important to be like innovative and creative. So this is really good, like what you've done uh, for yourself to like refresh some of the skills, right? Yes, that's correct. That's really cool. Kudos to you. Okay, so today, um, what are we going to be making? We're making a signature uh, cocktail, which is created by me. Okay. The name is uh, Galaxy Sling. Wow. Yeah. Actually, it come about is because I'm taking a banquet and all our meeting room is uh, named after different constellation. Oh. So that's why the name come about, uh, Galaxy Sling. Oh wow, very nice. Wow, so it's really basically inspired by the aesthetic of the hotel, the design of the ballroom. Correct, right? correct. And the meeting room, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I'm very I, I'm very interested. It does sound like, um, when you say sling, it reminds me of the Singapore sling. So is it like a spin-off that cocktail? It's somewhat similar, just that the ingredient we use is slightly different mm. because uh, I have infused our uh, Mercure Signature butter tea. Okay. Which also include the ingredients like uh, lemongrass, ginger, and pandan. Yeah. And the most important is the blue pea, which gives the color. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, it smells very aromatic. I mean, very floral as well. I imagine if you don't have this ingredient, you can probably replace it with like a blue pea flower tea, right? Yes, you can buy outside a blue pea flower tea. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and um, last question before we start, right? Has anybody tried this? cocktail before. It's uh, not out to public. Uh, you will be the first guest to try it. Yay! I'm the first! Yeah. Okay, so I hope that I do your recipe justice and this will taste as good as like if you made it. Alright, Jeffrey, why don't you run us through the ingredients and then we'll start making this cocktail. So, what we'll be using for the Galaxy Sling, it will be uh, gin, okay. a Norway liqueur, cherry brandy, mm. gherdin syrup, lime juice, sugar syrup, okay. batik tea. Uh -huh. yeah. So, this will be the ingredients that we'll be using for the Galaxy Sling. Okay, Jeffrey, so I think we're all set here with the ingredients. What's the first step? Okay, so the first one is the, to have your mixer. Got it. Uh, next, we have a jigger to measure the ingredients precisely. So what are the measurements for the top and the... So the longer one is 40, the shorter one is 20. Okay, gotcha. Okay, the uh, very first one is the uh, gin. Gin, uh, okay. 30 ml of this. 30 ml of gin. The shorter one, yeah. full, 20 ml. Yeah, and then half. Yes. Okay, got it. Okay, so the next one will be cheaper sack, an orange stick here. 10 ml of this. 10 ml. Half of the 20. All right. Okay, so next one will be a sherry brandy. Same, All 10 right. ml. 10 ml. Half. Okay, then the next one will be 10 ml of Geraldine syrup. 10 ml. All right, okay, done. So next one will be the lime juice. Lime juice mm -hmm. is 60 ml. So 40 of the long one and 20 of the short one. Okay, got it. Uh Wow, so I imagine this will have all the the different notes, right? The acid and then the sweetness, the fruitiness also. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay, then sugar syrup, 10 ml. Sugar syrup, 10 ml. Okay, almost there. So half of the 20. Yeah, okay, got it. There's one more ingredient to mix, which is uh, blue batik tea. Mm -hmm. But that we will add once we are done with everything. Okay, got it. Next, grab your ice, so one third of the mixer. One third of the mixer with ice. And now, Jeffrey, this is the best part. Okay, so close up your mixer. Okay. There's only one way my mentor teach me how to stick the mixer, which is uh, 45 degrees. Uh -huh. Okay, and towards you. But Jeffrey, I think there's many other ways to shake also. So you want to try my way? Uh, let's see how you do it. <laughs> okay, so same thing, 45 degrees, but you just need to put some shoulders into it, you know? Just like groove your shoulders, and then you get a beat. And then you can go left, right, left. Right. I think you are doing it better than me. <laughs> wow, nice escape. Okay, never mind. I'll do it on our behalf. 
So yeah, because I see a lot of bartenders, right, they have a lot of showmanship and they're spinning the shakers and the mixers around. Yes, so yes. I think, but for us, we just keep it to something simple and groovy, yeah? Yeah, that take a lot of uh, experience and uh, have confidence in your equipment as well. Okay, got it. Okay, so I think, um, like, I mean, how do you know how long to shake or...? Okay, so how do you know how long it is uh, when your mixer gets really cold uh -huh. and you are unable to hold it anymore? So that's, you know, uh, it's time for you to open up your mixer. Yeah, okay, it's right about there already. Okay. Okay, so knock it and uh, you're able to open up slowly. Uh, uh, hey, I think I don't need because mine has a strainer. Are we going to strain it? Uh, yes, we are going to strain it into a glass. Okay. okay so take your glass, take your strainer and uh -huh. strain your drink slowly. Okay. So you'll see the colour come out to be very bright red. Yes. Wow, this is a very pretty colour. Alright! Okay, so this is just one layer of the drink, is it? Yes, correct. There's only one layer of the drink. Ah, nice. Okay, okay. sure, sure. So, we are going to add the ice in. Okay. I'll fill up to three quarters. Alright, got it. So, let me fill this up. Ooh. I'll just use my hands. Alright, I'm afraid this is <laughs> all the ice I got. Okay? Yes. So, the next thing we have to do is to uh, put in the batik tea. Okay. So, batik tea itself has a very light density, so your floats mm. uh, on top of the drink. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll use the bar spoon to layer the drink. But if you don't yeah. have a bar spoon at home, what you can do is you take any flat surfaces. Mm -hmm. You can take your butter knife or your dessert spoon or your even your normal dining spoon is fine. Oh, okay. Anything that's a flat or smooth surface. Okay, sure. So what you want to do is uh, put your spoon inside, 45 degrees. Uh -huh. Take your batik tea and slowly uh -huh. pour it into the drink. Okay. So just count 3 seconds and yeah, you're good. Okay, 3 seconds and we're good. 1, 2, 3. Can I put a bit more? I think I put a bit more. So the more you put, uh, the darker colour itself because parting tea itself is a blue in colour. Yeah, wow. You can stir your drinks a little bit so at least it won't be so dark uh, on the top. Oh, okay, sure. So just a quick stir will do. Not so hard, oh. just slightly. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Not gentle with my drink, but I do see the colour gradient now, yeah? So you have a three layer of a drink, which is a blue colour, yeah. then slightly purple, and the bottom, because of the gradient syrup, you have a red colour in the bottom. Wow, this colour scheme is on point there. All the three colours match. Like if you put it onto fabric, right? Make a blouse, done deal. Okay, Jeffrey, this is very, very pretty. But now the most important part is to taste. So I'm gonna go for it. Cheers. Thank you for teaching me. Please. Mmm! How is it? Okay, wow. Okay, so I'm a person who likes something a bit more um refreshing, tangy, rather than something that is creamy. So this one really, really hits the spot because you've got like all your sweet notes, your sour notes, and then you've got the aroma of the tea as well. So like all the herbs that you were talking about, right, it sort of perfumes like the nasal passages. So it's quite interesting because you taste it on your tongue. It's as layered as it looks, you know what I mean, in terms of taste and smell. So that's really, really quite awesome. And and I'm the first guest, right, to try. Yeah, you're the first one. It's not out yet. Yay! Well, this is really awesome. It tastes as, as wonderful as it looks. So thank you so much for teaching me this cocktail. I'm the first in, first in Singapore to try this. <laughs> Okay, Jeffrey, so what are we making next? Okay, the next one of my uh, next creation will be the Summer Cool Breeze, which is also inspired by my uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. Nearby, there's an uh, infinity pool. So I've actually been to the Novotel on Stevens, and I've been to the pool. It's very, it's very nice. It's like a resort, right? So I'm going to imagine drinking this by the pool. <laughs> okay, so what we're needing for this ingredient is white peach concentrate, Got it. soda water, mint leaf for the garnish, yeah. lime juice, oh, and uh, juice. cold brew batik tea. Okay, I'm I'm stoked. What's the first step? Ah? Okay, so for this one, we don't have to mix. Oh, no more shaking, ah, Jeffrey. So sad. So we'll just pour into a glass and we'll mix up from that. Okay. Okay, the first one will be the white peach concentrate. So it will be two yeah. spoons of this. Ah, okay. So this is a heavier ingredient, right? We just want to layer the bottom. Alright. Look at me trying to sound like an expert. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, got it. So next one will be lime juice. 10 ml of this. Alright, 10 ml of lime juice. Okay, you can fill up with ice. Ice 3 quarter of the glass. Alrighty. Okay, so three quarters of the glass with ice. Okay, next one will be the mint leaf. Mint leaf. So for mint leaf, right, you just have to throw it into the glass. Just at the side, this is for the garnish. Wait, I choose a prettier mint leaf, okay? 
It's like a little salad. Okay, so soda water. <laughs> soda water, got it. Wow, you open can also use the apparatus, huh? Because I got no nail. You're a true expert. <laughs> okay. So just three quarter will do because we have to add on the batik tea. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we have to take the our bar spoon. Are we using the same method as just now? Correct. So we are just uh, laying the drink. So just three seconds again? Yes, three seconds, 30 ml. Okay. One, two, three. Wow. So you can put your straw and to give a little stir, you will see the colour change to slightly purple. Oh my! The colours here are even more dramatic than the last one. Woo! Alright, Jeffrey, it's time for the most important part, which is the tasting. I can't wait. So I'm going to close my eyes and visualise myself at the Novotel Infinity Pool. And then have a little bit of the drink. Wow, okay. This one is different obviously because it doesn't have alcohol. But I love that a lot of the drinks that you made today, it's not just about the taste, but there's also an element of aroma and smell. So that's really quite the experience when you drink it. Very cool. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, you know, in line with this whole talking about uh, job redesign and all that, is there any other uh, skills that you are interested to I'm learn? I'm actually looking forward into an area of uh, fine dining, a uh, restaurant which uh, give oh. uh, guests a more personalised service. Yeah, that's awesome. But I mean, you're already quite, you're already quite uh, broad, your skills. You're already um, uh, banquet, bartending, front desk, and if you're going to add fine dining in, right? Wow. Well, thank you so much, really. I mean, it was really a very fun experience and not to mention very delicious one. So thank you so much for teaching me how to make these cocktails and mocktails. And when all this is over, I hope to come down where I think you can make a better one when I'm physically there. Yeah, I look forward to see you here in the future. Alright, take care Jeffrey. Thank you so much. I'll catch you soon. Yeah, see you again.